Welcome to Talk Show Tea. I'm your host, Kareem Clemens. Thank you for being here. Thank you so much for tuning in to this Talk Show Tea. Today is May the 15th, 2018. It is a Tuesday. This is season two with episode three. I'm happy to be back here with you guys today. Okay, so there's a lot happening today. Let me get into the tea of the day. Okay, so breaking news, breaking news. Uh, you guys know on the last talk show tea, which was about two weeks ago, it was uh, the last Monday in April, I believe. It was the 30th. Okay, so there has been a lot that has been coming from you know that day until today. The tea. Um, I told you guys that. Um, I told you guys that there was going to be, uh, there's no schedule yet for the um, the talk show tea. I don't know when talk show tea is going to be uh, produced into a video and brought out to, on social media, but I can tell you that we're here on season two with episode three, and I'm going to get with you guys on the tea. Um, yeah, let me see. All right, so uh, breaking news. Okay, so you guys know that I started off with uh, letting you guys know about Bill Cosby, right? Bill Cosby, who was convicted now. He is now a uh, person who's been convicted of uh, three felony counts of a decent assault. Okay, if you guys don't know who Bill Cosby is, he is a TV icon. He is also a comedian, musician, and also producer and an author. Bill Cosby, real name, William Henry Cosby Jr., was found guilty, okay, on, um, on all three counts of indecent assault, okay? And again, he was found guilty on drugging and assaulting, sexual assaulting a woman, in her home in the Philadelphia suburban uh, in 2004. And at that time, we was unable to uh, get any sources from social media on the sentencing process. But I can tell you that the T today is we do have more information on Bill Cosby, who is now, social media is now saying that uh, Bill Cosby will be sentenced on September the 24th, 2018. Okay, Bill Cosby will be sentenced, which is five months after, after he was convicted of sexual assault. Okay, the judge has set the date on Tuesday. Cosby lawyer had asked to delay the sentence until December. Okay, they were saying that... Um, you know, when they found him guilty, uh, they were saying that um, he could receive 10 years for each count, which was going to be 30 years. OK, but we all know that Bill Cosby is not going to serve that amount of time. OK, so let's go on and see what our social media is saying. They're, they're saying that Cosby has been a prisoner in his suburban Philadelphia home, his mansion. Sorry, since April the 26th conviction, okay? And they're also saying that, uh, and, I, and I reported this on a T, that he had a, uh, a, a GPS tracker on him to track everywhere he moves. And he only was allowed to um, go to his lawyer's office and also go to the doctor, okay? They're also saying... That was the GPS monitor uh, bracelet. And again, he, the lawyers and doctors, right? They're also saying that uh, Bill Cosby, we all know he will be turning 81 in July. Birthday is July the 12th. Okay. And they're saying that he may likely face up to 10 years in prison, which I believe that he's probably going to do like six years. And then he's going to probably be let out on good behavior. Again, I know he's been convicted, but we don't know. Okay, this man is nearly old. 
he is actually done, he's finished, but that still doesn't justify you do the crime, you do the time, because there's been a lot of people who's in jail who done crimes and been convicted and they, you know, done their whole time. But again, in, in this case, uh, Bill Cosby is not a habitual offender. Matter of fact, he doesn't have a, uh, a record, okay? He doesn't have a record. So they may take that in consideration the day of the sentencing. Stay with Talk Show T as I deliver more information as it is uh, as it comes to social media. I will uh, break it right here on Talk Show T here on Ustream. Okay, so a couple of updates. Uh, a couple of updates. I need. Um, I need a red pen. Uh, just, just a pen. Okay, so uh, again, the www.ustream.com slash talk show T. Thank you. <clears throat> yeah, no, that's cool. Uh, the www.ustream.com slash talk show TTV has not been, uh, it has not, it has not started yet. So uh, eventually that website or well you stream address will be up very soon okay so again talk show T is sponsored by Omega Studio News that's news you can use okay you can visit the blog page which is the website okay I'm not gonna say out it's I'll say it out but you guys already know because you know I get tongue twisted when I say all those long words even though uh, we do have a meeting coming up well a phone meeting tomorrow with the moderators for Omega Studio News and Tosho T so more likely in the works of creating a website okay but you guys already know it's www.kareemclemens.wixsite.com slash Omega Studio News or you can go to any social media um outlet which is Google, Bing, uh, MSN, any uh, um, one of those outlets and you can just type in Omega Studio News and everything will come up to associate with Omega Studio News and on YouTube including this video. Okay? Now, we have some more tea here on Talk Show Tea. Okay, so um, apparently over the weekend I was I read an article where hmm, this is good too I read an article where uh, what was it so Gail King is the BFF friend for Oprah Winfrey okay and it was an article that had said that uh, well let me read it here okay so there was a rumor that has started by Gail King, who is the BFF for Oprah Winfrey. And they said, well, she said, allegedly, I don't know if it's true or not, but the word says that Oprah does love to relax hard. And I believe when I read something in the article, she was talking about smoking marijuana okay but more news has surfaced T is surfaced where Martha Stewart is now in social media saying that she cannot believe that Oprah smokes weed okay first of all weed is smoked by everybody okay I mean it should be smoked by everybody I mean even though you see the video out there where uh, people are smoking. You see the rappers smoking, and 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 I hate to say this, but you even see videos of 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 uh, of kids smoking. But it's not; they're forced to smoke it. You know, they forced to smoke it through their parents. I mean, remember back when the Queen's Supreme Court had showed a video where her, the mother had gave the child a blunt, and then later it comes to find out that that lady was charged. Okay, she was charged for given her child that marijuana and that's when 
I did the show and I was saying, I think it was in jury review, you can find that uh, information or that footage where I was saying that they probably can give the child some type of THC in a form of medication because they say that THC and in, in the ingredient, the main ingredient inside marijuana helps, you know, regulate seizures, help uh, a person who may be going through a medical condition. You understand? And I even seen another video where an animal, I believe it was a dog, okay, or it could have been a cat who was receiving uh, THC and a medication because that, it was a dog. Uh, uh, they were saying that the, the medication had helped the dog because the dog were go was going through seizures. Okay. So yes, the, the T is, is that Martha Stewart cannot believe that Oprah, Oprah smokes weed. Okay. So apparently after the rumor was started by her BFF, Gail King, uh, and also, um, okay, so this is something coming from social media. It says that outside of ABC Studios in New York City, TMZ cameraman stopped Stewart as she was exiting the building and yelled out, Oprah's smoking now. What do you recommend? Totally perplexed, Stewart mistakenly assumed that TMZ referred to cigarettes until they corrected her to which she respond weed okay so they have here in caps end of Oprah as if she had never said okay someone to shotgun marijuana smoke okay here is the tea okay so apparently Martha Stewart is very is flabbergasted or well, she's very shocked or she can't believe that Oprah smokes. Well, we know Wiz Khalif smoke because he has it all out on social media. We know Snoop smokes. You know, even I have that game, the Paramount. Uh, you know that uh, that he's featuring, and he's the host of, and he smokes. Okay, you have a lot of people who who smokes. Uh, a lot of people feel that smoking helps them relax, it helps them, but then in the same way, smoking could actually damage, or not actually damage, it can damage your your yourselves. You understand? And sometimes people don't really understand that when people smoke, sometimes people can't control people can't control when they're high. Okay? They may do stupid stuff and they may do things that is abnormal. And that's why they haven't really legalized it because people are going to go out of control with it. You understand? But right now we do know that marijuana, uh, medical marijuana is legal. You understand? In some states. But the T is Oprah smokes weed. That is allegedly smokes weed. If she does, the woman is a billionaire. Okay? I don't see how that's going to stop people from not liking her or even if she did run for president which I hope she does okay I, I hope that's not gonna stop her and even if she does everybody smokes I'm not condoling it like it's a good thing and telling people to go out there and smoke marijuana but if the woman smokes she smokes okay Martha Stewart get over it okay get over it okay so the uh, the next is I want to inform on here on social media that there will be a meeting taking place on let me see tomorrow there will be a meeting taking place on tomorrow which is the 16th of May and it's a phone VI it is uh, only for our uh, mentors and moderators of the Omega Studio News and also Talk Show T. So I'll tell you a little bit about that. I decided to push a meeting for Wednesday the 16th for a phone conference with our moderators for the Omega Studio News group as well as the Omega Studio News blog page and as well as the, uh, the Facebook like page. Okay? So I do want to say that there are going to be some changes. I do know that um, 
I do know that, and at some point I, I received the email. That's what it was. It started off from an email, okay, about the Yahoo group for the Omega Studio News. What's happening with that? Okay, any word. So, being though that there has been some information that our moderators has been emailing, emailing to certain people, I'll just put it like that, certain, cer certain people, uh, it needs to be addressed. Now, when our moderator had sent out the uh, email for an update on the Yahoo group, on how and why people information was breached all that information came from Yahoo okay and they were saying that the only result is is that you will have to change your password and make sure there is no sensitive information that is in the in your email because again we do know that email emails for Yahoo was hacked and it was millions of people okay I think it was up to about the same number of people who were who information has been breached with the uh, the the um, the uh, the credit report people. Okay, so I think is the meeting is going to be about not think I believe the meeting is going to be about dialogue and it's going to be about uh, it's going to be about dialogue. We're going to talk about that. We're going to also talk about. Uh, the session, which will be happening very soon, which there is a date set for the session, and you could go on the social media blog page to check out when that session will happen. That session will take place on the 25th, which is a Friday, which is next week. Okay? Uh, we do need, they need to change this. The Supreme Queen, the Supreme Court, the Queen Supreme Court, uh, they did have their show on Monday, which was yesterday. Okay. And I can tell you that before the end of this week, there will be a jury review that will be coming out on the 18th. Okay. Matter of fact, hopefully it'll be out before. It will out before the podcast for the Queen Supreme Court come out in that morning because it usually come out at six o'clock on that day on Friday. And it is basically recapping or the the after show of the the judges who well the guests and the dishonor well not dishonorable we have to change it the Chief Justice Judge. T.S. Madison and her guests. And I'm not really sure when she's going to have the battle because remember, we're still in the Battle of the Bench Part 2. So technically, I don't really know if she's going to continue to bring more people on because I did see that she said that the, the Chief Judge, T.S. Madison, said that uh, she's going to see if people, you know, people from YouTube, you know, YouTube stars or Instagram stars or whatever could come up there on her show. Uh, we do know that this is Battle for the Bench Part 2, okay? This is Season 2, because the first season ended with the Thug Misses, okay? So, um, and she's looking for someone to replace her, okay? So, I'm thinking she's going to continue to have more people to come on her show. And, I guess, we the people and the jurors will have, I guess, to say so when they have... When she has them all together on a platform. And I guess at some point they'll have a poll and with the names and that she's going to finally, finally pick someone who's going to sit right next to the Chief Justice, right on the Queen Supreme Court. So eventually I'm thinking that that's what's going to happen. But right now there uh, she's still in the phase of having special guests come to her show. How you doing? Okay. So, um, so so that is on tomorrow. That day is set. We are um doing the phone thing. Here you go. The phone thing. Hmm. The phone thing on tomorrow. 
which is the 16th. Also, you know, this is the T. So basically, let me go into the um, go here and see if there is any T to be spilled on today. Oh my God! Let me read. Let me share this guy. Share this with you. The T. Okay. So before this comes out, I want to let you guys know. Thank you, everybody who was saying that my hair color looks really nice. I do cut my own hair. Uh, I do do my own. You know cut all this and everything. I like this style. I should have done this style a long time ago. I tell you I tell you this. I had a one. Now if you know about clippers and you know about the clip blades, the clip blades that go on, it only had a one. That's the only one that I had. I didn't have a one and a half or a, a down anything down from one. The only thing down from one would be def technically the the blade on the clip itself. So when I did that, I was like, oh my God, I like that. So I'm going to be rocking this hairstyle for a minute. When I say a minute, I'll probably take like eight months. Because I feel more like open, free, okay? Um, when you don't have much hair, you get a breeze. Uh, and for me, I don't really have to comb my hair and I worry about nappiness or have to waste too much shampoo. And when I'm running and everything, I can sweat more. Oh, my God. I, I, I don't even want to get there. I mean, even when I did have hair on my head, I was sweating. But when I don't have any hair on my head, it feels really good because I sweat more and it feels really good. And I can actually literally see the sweat. And it's like... But... It's all good. It, it helps me to maintain a balanced look, looking sexy for me, myself, and I, okay? You know, I love myself. I am my biggest fan. So, hmm. If you like it, I love it. Okay. So, the T is, is that a Michigan woman was fired for bringing laxative lace brownies to co-workers. Farewell. Hmm. Hmm. What was that all about? Okay, so social media is saying that a Michigan engineer company employee has been fired after police determined that she baked laxative in a brownie to intend to send, uh, attend for a departure colleague send off. Wow. Okay, first of all, um, Okay, let me read this and then I'll go into what I have to say. Okay, so they're saying the report, the news report has said that a 47-year-old woman intentionally denied putting laxative in brownies, but after learning investigation would test them, she admitted she had and her name hasn't been released. Some people are saying that other employees told police that they may have been a tension between a woman and the department employee employer but specify on had and haven't been released specification hasn't been released oh they're saying that the woman faced no charges but if anyone had eaten the brownies it could have been considered a criminal act my thing is uh thank god nobody did eat the um the brownies this just brings me back to a video that i had seen on social media where some kids had put laxative and bird and bread and for the birds, the seagulls on the beach. That video is online, and those birds started shitting on all the people that was on the beach. I mean, it was like real crazy. But my thing is this: I'm trying to see. I'm trying to see like if nobody ate the brownies and she, and she made the brownies. I mean, did the brownies have a different look to them? Did they have a different? Did they have a smell to them? Did they not smell like brownies? Did they smell like laxative? How did they know? How did they know? Beside, I mean, she did deny it. That's what it, it said here that she, it, she denied uh, baking the laxative in the brownies. But and and, and it says nobody ate it because if they did, she would be facing criminal charges. But how did they know? How did they know? And then maybe she felt bad. Maybe she felt sorry. Maybe 
Um, okay, so here we go. It says, officers confiscated the tainted uh, confection on May 3rd after another employee tipped off management. No one ate the brownies. Okay, so did she tell somebody that she did this? She should have kept her mouth closed. Okay, if you was going to send this man off, the T is, is that you should have sent him off well. Or you could have just put the brownies in a box and said, hey, this is a dessert for you only, no one else. Okay? And if he would have ate the brownies when he got home, then, you know, it would have been a different story. But we ain't condoning bad shit like that. Okay, it was wrong for what she did. No one shouldn't have to eat brownies with laxative in it because you never know what could possibly happen. But it's just so crazy. She didn't even keep her mouth closed. She told other people. And I guess they tipped off the management and they stopped this 47-year-old woman. But the T is, is that she was about to send this man off to the bathroom. Okay, because laxative ain't no joke. And, and, and straight if it goes straight through, straight through your system. Um, mm, but yes, wow. Wow. Okay. So that is the tea from Michigan. Oh my God. Like, did she really think that she was going to get away with it? If she, she could have gotten away with it if she would have kept her mouth closed. Because you... Again, you heard uh, they were someone tipped off the management. So apparently she ran her mouth. So she could have got away with it. But that's wrong. Shame on you. Okay? So no charges were filed against her. Okay. So I do have a uh, report in the tech field for the T. Okay, so the T is, is that Verizon has names such as Los Angeles as the second of four cities to receive not 2G, not 3G, not 4G, but 5G to roll out in 2019. Let's take a look at what this 5G service is. Okay. So Verizon is saying the new 5G service is naming Los Angeles as the second city in America to be treated to a commercial rollout of the new technology, network technology. Okay, that's amazing. Okay, they're also saying that Los Angeles as the second of four cities that will receive the 5G rollout for Verizon. They're saying that they brought 36 miles of fiber so they can have a big pipes feeding the cells. Wow, they need to work on a 4G first and the 3G, okay, before they do a 5G, okay? Um, the broadband to deliver to the whole suite serving 5G. Maybe this is just, I don't know, I guess now it's going to be super duper fast? I don't know. But, um, they're saying the plans was announced early 2018 to begin bringing the 5G to uh, to the to the uh, areas. They also named Sacramento, California, as the first market to receive the 5G technology. They also said that uh, the 5G home network service may. Uh, make their way to the consumers uh, first for fixed wireless applications before mobile wireless winds into a way for the consumer into the first quarter of 2019. So technically, our phones will have 5G uh, in 2019. They said in February, AT&T said that Atlanta, Dallas, and Waco, Texas will be the first of 12 cities to receive the 5G technology. While Sprint is bringing its 5G service to Kansas City, Phoenix, and New York City, the millennium capital of the world. For more information, you can visit www.
dot finance dot youtube dot com okay all right so uh let's see so at this time i would like to um bring up the blog page okay so at this time there has not there has not been a break in the case of 15 year old Hannah Bell who was fatally shot in Los Angeles okay so again um, around May 1st Hannah Bell was fatally wounded Okay, while she was standing on line with her mother at a burger shop and um, in Los Angeles, okay, a, a man who they only describe as wearing all black into and started open firing and killing this 15-year-old, not saying that she was the 10 target, but she was struck by maybe a bullet, a flying bullet, okay? We do know that there is a $50,000 reward for information that leads to the arrest and conviction in the slaying of the late Hannah Bell. Okay, again, she was shot while waiting um, with her mother outside the hamburger stand in South Los Angeles. Okay, so for more information on that story, uh, you could just visit the blog page, but if you know any information that can lead to an arrest and conviction of a person that may be uh, 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 connected to this case, the social media is saying to call 877-LAPD-247. Okay. Other news coming out of Utah. Okay, this is something that we don't want adults, kids, nobody should be playing this type of game. Okay, a Utah boy dies after playing the fainting game. Okay, now let me tell y'all a little bit about what the fainting game is. So I tried it before. Okay, it's where you basically get a rush while you're constant and back to reality. You can actually do it. I, I mean, I didn't do it by myself, but you actually need other people to do this game. It's not recommended for anybody to do this, and I don't want anybody to try this, okay, because it killed this young boy, okay? But I'll tell you quick what it is because I tried it one time, and that was the last time. Okay, so... What you do or what happens with the fainting game is that you have to take like 10 deep breaths, like, <sighs> right? Then on the 10th breath, after you do that, you hold your breath. The person will hold their breath. And then what happens is, well, they usually use like, um, like, like a wall, right? They usually use like a wall right? And they, the person holds your chest in. And then when they hold your chest in, while you're holding your breath, you pass out. Okay. And I remember when I did that for the first time and it was the only time and it was the last time when I was regaining conscious, I was thinking about my aunt. I was thinking about past stuff that happened in the past. Okay. I was thinking about a lot of shit that was coming to my mind when I was regaining conscious. And it was like a really bad feel. Like, I was like, wow, oh my God, I can't believe I just did that. Okay, but here, a Utah boy dies after playing the fainting game with friends. This happened on Mother's Day, people. Mother's Day. Shout out to all the mothers out there in the world who gave birth to an individual for this past Mother's Day that just passed. Uh, shout out to all the mothers that is out there who gave birth to a human being. Shout out to you. Your day was on Monday. But apparently this mother right here, instead of uh, spending time with her boy, 
she p says here that she started to plan his funeral arrangements. So according to social media, the T is is that a Utah boy had died over the weekend after he and his friends was playing the fainting game, which led to the significant of oxygen being cut off to his brain. Okay? Uh, we not naming no names here. You could just type in Utah boy dies from the fainting game. Okay? Uh, on social media. Wow. Kelly Harris is live. What is she? Hold on. You know, I, I follow Kelly, my girl. And I know she was having operations on herself. So let me see. What's the... Uh, is it under... Okay. Uh, just give me one minute. I'll, I'll, I'm going to get back to your story on that. Let me just see what she's doing. Oh, nothing. Okay, so yes. This Utah boy dies by playing this game. Okay, they're saying that this 15 year old, this, this, I'm sorry, not 15, he was 12. Okay, he was 12. The T is that he was 12. Okay, 12 years old. We're not naming names, but this 12 year old uh, 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 teen, 12 year old, well, he doesn't even teen, 12 year old and his friends was playing the game on Friday afternoon. In hopes of cutting off the oxygen to the brain to obtain a high or a rush. Okay. Apparently, they were playing this game and he never regained conscious. He passed away. Okay. The sixth grader was described as a child who loves football and had a, uh, a zeal for adventure. They say that his father had passed away a year and a half ago and he has six siblings. Okay. Also known as the choking game, the dangerous stunt was generally spread through the word of mouth involving the groups of two or three people participating in it. Like I told y'all, you really can't really do it by yourself, but I want to refer anybody doing this, period. Even if you did it by yourself, because you never know if you could regain conscience or how you feel, like how this 12-year-old boy felt, and again, he passed away. Involving groups of two to three people participating in it in the last few years, there's been videos that has been posted on the internet to show how children can choke themselves enough to get a rush of a rush or a high as they regain conscious. Uh, she is saying the mother of this 12 year old who passed away is saying that she wants to warn other parents about the dangers of the fainting game. She says, and I quote, there's nothing that can take take the pain away, but it can save one child, one parent, one family. Then it will make more sense. This is coming from the 12-year-old boy who was who died from the fame game. She also says, and I quote, I spent Mother's Day planning my son's funeral, writing his obituary instead of having breakfast or flowers or I love you, mom. Try to imagine what it would be like and multiply it that by infinity. And that's the kind of what I, what it's like. There is no words. Okay, so the talk show T would like to send love condolence and sympathy to this mother who lost her 12 year old boy to the fainting game okay please don't try this game don't play this game don't participate in the game because again to get a rush or a high it ain't even worth it because your life is at stake okay for more information you can visit www.foxnews okay so let me um let me uh give you guys some update on social media uh 
the social media that is uh, as of now with the uh, Omega Studio News. Okay, so again, there is no www.ustream.com slash ustream because that has not been created yet. So we'll be talking about that in our next meeting on how we can uh, start that uh, that address up. Also, I do want to talk to you, give you updates on the social media as of now. So if you guys don't know, I'm just going to say it so you guys can have it and it could be recorded here on Social T. Okay, so. Um, okay. So Twitter is the ad handle at Omega Studio News. Periscope is on weekdays at 5 p.m. Okay, 5 p.m. On here it has okay, so 5:30. So I'm gonna um actually talk this over with our mentors because we are. Uh, well, this is actually with the moderator. Okay, so our uh, moderator, I'll talk to them about that. Also, um, okay, so you guys already know that the Throwback Thursday is 9 p.m. on the Facebook, but what's been happening is, and I don't know what the hell is all about with the uh, YouTube not uh, finding the camera. I don't know about that. But I think that's like an error that uh, YouTube need to update because I have the camera here and it's saying that you have to go in. But I don't understand. It says Wirecrest. I don't have that camera. And it's reading that camera and not the original camera. So Thursday, 9 p.m., it, it, it says live on the Facebook community page. But I can tell you that it's live on Ustream, which that is where the address of the www.ustream.com slash TV is coming to be in play on, on there. And you guys also know that I do have a YouTube gaming, and uh, you can also find that on the blog page as well. Just go to the YouTube gaming tab. You can also join me uh, live on Periscope, Again, that's it's five o'clock, but it's five thirty p.m. And then if you can't join, if you can't join me on there, you can uh, listen to me on speaker. That's s p r e a k e r dot com. I call it the radio broadcast for the Obeka Studio News and podcasts, and that is on weekends at five a.m. Okay, you now. So you now. Uh, we do have, I do have a you now. I can tell you that the you now has, is, uh, the you now is the Omega Studio News and Tosho T breaking news. Now, that's not the breaking news for uh, the social media. The breaking news is on the Ustream, the Black College Dude, which is, uh, the Ustream now. Okay. The uh, but that's for Kareem Kareem underscore five. It should be Omega Studio News, <coughs> it should be Omega Studio News, but it's uh, for Kareem Kareem underscore dot uh, five. But like I said, the you now was made because if people had or wanted to come on to the show. And they wanted to be co-hosts on a show and they don't want to leave their homes. They can go to you now. It's a split screen and they can, you know, get in, uh, um, the app. Well, get the, uh, the, the um, go to the website, create a program or a profile and join me. Okay. Right on there and it's be a split screen. The last that I activated that was when me and Princess Diamond was on there and we had we had a nice time. We had a lot of people watching us. Okay. It's live as well. And I mean it has categories where you can uh add yourself your video to it and people will watch it. Okay. So yes, 
that is the four Kareem Kareem underscore five. But if you want more information, you can just go to the blog page and type in, not even type in, you can just go down and see the tab on the main page, the Omega Studio News Live on you, you now. Okay. Also, um, Facebook is the Omega Studio News, which is the community fan page. Also, with the Facebook, there is a Omega Studio News group page, okay, which we do have moderators and uh, administration for the uh, YouTube, I'm sorry, for the Facebook Omega Studio News group. The administration is Daquan Jones. And you could just go on Facebook and type in Omega Studio News group and it will come up. Our breaking news on is still going to be on Ustream, but the name is not Omega Studio News yet. But again, all the breaking news will still be here and it will go, it will be transferred over to YouTube, okay? Or it will be transferred over to the web page because they allow you to put the YouTube videos on there. That is the breaking news in Ustream and also the home for Talk Show T. Okay, that is an, um, okay, all right, so, um, okay, and this brings me back to the Yahoo group. The Yahoo group is still, it's still suspended, y'all. It's still suspended. I am saying that, uh, when I learn more from this meeting on the Yahoo group, just might close it off because right now I don't want to leave my baby I mean I, I, I like it I, I love it you guys can go and check it out just go to Omega Studio News on Yahoo group I don't know do people still use Yahoo group I mean do people still use Yahoo group in it because now they have Facebook okay I, I don't even know people who are still using Ustream I mean, I used to name uh, Downy Link or MySpace or Black Planet. You know, I mean, uh, are people still using that? But I do know that MySpace had a, a whole design design done by Justin Timberlake, and it looks really nice. Okay, so yes, there's a meeting going on on the 16th at 1 p.m. Okay. Okay, yeah, this is the update. Okay, you guys already know www.kareenclemens.wixsite.com slash Omega Studio News. I also seen that one of our administrators had put up the uh, Talk Show T website. That website is no longer commission. It's out. So, yeah, so the speaker, that's S-P-R-E-A-K-E-R radio. Also, if you go onto the web page, you will also see that there is a um oh what's that if you go to Omega Studio News Room 2 and you go all the way down to the bottom yes the talk show T has SoundCloud and also they have the Omega Studio News have SoundCloud and what is that other one? It's SoundCloud and uh, oh, okay, yeah, it's just SoundCloud. I thought it was something different. Okay, so so those are all the social media networks and all the ways you can find the networks. The module for that is keep it real, keep it live, and keep tuned in, okay, for those social media uh, pages. Okay, so I do know that there will be the, uh, I still do have for the group, again, I don't know what platform I'm going to do it on, is it going to be the community uh group page or is it going to be the facebook page but i do have 
the uh, the the book of the federal investigation on police killing of unarmed African American men. And you guys already know the the Trayvon Martin, the Tamir Rice, the Freddie Gray, uh, the Mike Brown. It talks about everything, and I want to dissect that book, and I want to, you know, get people understanding and let people know because people don't even have the book, and they want to know more about this federal investigation. Some people won't rest because there is still more information. I was reading about the Trayvon Martin and how they closed the case because they said that there was no evidence. There was no evidence that George Zimmerman, which he was found not guilty, George Zimmerman uh, fired and killed this man because of a violation. They said that this Zimmerman man, the killing was justified. That's basically what they're saying because if it was no further investigation, then obviously they're saying that what he did was right, which we all know. It was wrong, okay? And we know, we all know that it had to do far more than the law, okay? Hmm. But I was reading more into depth on the Mike Brown case, and they were saying other things. I think I went into the autopsy part, how three autopsies was conducted on this poor boy, and... They found inconclusive, like there was inconclusive stories, okay? They were saying that the bullet that killed him straight through the head was what killed him. They were saying that there was shots in his back. They were saying that it was shot on his finger because he grabbed the gun. It's just so much. But I am reading that book, and I'm like picking and debating on what platform to do it on, probably do it right here on your stream and then just put it on YouTube and then have it on the web page. But right now I am working on that. Okay. I'm just reading it. All right. So any more? Okay. So, okay. Yeah, I, I, I did that already. All right. So let me go in and see what T Oh, yes. Let me explain this to y'all. Matter of fact, hold on. I I was going to save this for the Omega Studio News, but I want to talk about the T on now disgrace. Hmm. Eric Schreiderman. Schreiderman. I think that's his name. Eric Schreiderman. The Attorney General, the former Attorney General for New York. Okay, apparently uh charges was set or they found out that this man was being accused by multiple women that he assaulted them and also physically abused them as well. And this is the same man that was trying to bring charges against other people who was facing the same charge that, that he was facing. Okay. But yeah, so let's um let me look at this. Apparently, and you know, I was shocked because I found this now, mind you, mind you, he's the attorney general for the state of New York or the city of New York, and he's supposed to be your go-to guy to handle some certain investigations for the city. But when it's your own, you have to step down. So apparently he stepped down. And they're saying, the, the T is, is that four women accused the New York Attorney General of physical abuse. Okay? So not sexually, physical, physical abuse. Okay, Eric Schreinerman has raised his profile as a voice against sexual misconduct. And now after suing Harvey Weinstein, that was the guy who was the other guy who was charged or allegedly did what he they say he did. He faces hashtag me too uh, of his own because that's the hashtag me too, and I think that that um, started uh, the, the the me too movement is the distress of four women with whom he had relationships and encountered encounters with. 
Wow, I can't believe this. A Democratic, a Democrat at that. The New York Attorney General just, oh, I, I can't even go on with this. It's just really shocking to, like, I voted for this man, too. Like, honestly, I voted for him. Uh, it's very sad that this man actually did this. And now that is now being brought to light, he had to step down. Okay? Like, they're saying that this man basically was pressing charges against this other person who was charged with the same misconduct, sexual misconduct that he's facing. It just goes on and on and on and on and on. For more information, you can visit www.newyorkger.com and type in the Attorney General. I can't even talk about him because it's just a disgrace that he's a Democrat man and and you would think that this would be someone who would definitely help the people, but apparently he's hurting himself, okay, or has hurt himself. Okay, so let me uh, end off with uh, this story, the T. I'm going to end off uh, the Talk Show T Season 2, Episode 3 with this here, and I'm going to... Uh, you know, this is one of the big stories as well, but I'll cover more information on the Omega Studio News on Thursday. So, apparently North Korea threatens to cancel U.S. meeting over American military drills with South Korea, report. So, apparently there is or has been talks or announcement that... I, I, can't, I don't even want to say his name. The North Korean leader is meeting, supposed to meet with Donald Trump. The president of the United States, but apparently is saying that North Korea announced that it has canceled a high-level summit with South Korea, and it is threatening to cancel its meeting with the United States of America because of military drills with South Korea. It's just so much going on in the world, and then you know you could just pick what you want to talk about and just give your opinion upon it. I thought that it was going to be a good thing, but apparently, um, hopefully, or it, social media is saying that the meeting between President Trump and North Korean dictator Kim Jong-un is also in jeopardy, according to the news from over there. Trump announced last week that the highly anticipated meeting with Kim would take place in Singapore on June 12th. Okay? But apparently, uh, they're saying that the State Department had said during Tuesday briefing that they had not received any formal or even information notification of anything uh, as far as, you know, continuing to go to the, the, the Singapore to meet with uh, the President of the United States. But Kim Jong-un had said previously that he understands that the need and uh, utility, I'm sorry, the unity of the United States and the Republic of Korea continuing in its joint exercise. The exercise that are legal and they're planning well, well in advance. It's just so much stuff happening. Apparently, hopefully, this meeting continues for next month. But apparently, they're saying that the U.S. bomb twenty, the U.S. B twenty two bomber, however, may not participate in a U.S. base air drill, according to their news. And they're also saying that there is a statement from the press secretary saying that Tuesday the White House was aware of the South Korean media report and that the U.S. will look at what North Korea has said uh, independently and continue to coordinate closely with other allies. So the U.S. and North Korea 
had been making good progress towards talk about Kim giving up his nuclear program, according to the source. And while they said it's possible that North Korea could be thinking about derailing the summit at the moment, they don't think so. Okay. They're also saying that in a meeting on Wednesday between the officials from North and South Korea was expected to be a follow-up on a historic summit held in late April between North Korea and leader Kim Jong-un and South Korean President Moon Jae-in. All these names. Uh, yeah. But apparently, uh, this meeting is happening, and uh, Kim on Jun wants some things to happen, and apparently, the U.S. ain't going for it. So, hopefully, this meeting is continuing at the summit in Singapore, and hopefully, they can convince this man to not do things that's going to lead to a war. We don't need a war. We don't need any more. Okay, we need our soldiers, military men and women to come home safe and sound. We don't need no war because that's going to affect all of us in this country. Okay, from the East Coast to the West Coast. All right. And with that said, uh, I don't think that there is any more news or tea. But if there is, uh, I will be delivering that uh, on the next Omega Studio News, okay? So, without further ado, I want to take this time to thank each and every last person who has come up here and uh, watched this live broadcast. I want to thank uh, those who are on Ustream. We have about five people watching. So, thank you to the Ustream people. I want to thank those who are coming. I want to thank those who are here and I want to thank those who are on their way. Please take the time to like, comment, and share this video. This video will be on YouTube. It will be on the blog page tomorrow, but it will be also on social media, other pages such as the group pages and also the, uh, the, the like page. Okay? And also on the blog page. So thank you so much. I want to take this time to say we are episode three. I don't know when the next episode, I do know it's basically, uh, I mean, we need to start pulling the episode. But I'm telling you this meeting tomorrow with our uh, administrators and the, uh, the moderators for, I keep saying mentors. The moderators and administration for the Omega Studios and Talk Show T uh, will be getting down to the nitty gritty on what's happening, what's coming for the summer, because we do know that the summer is happening uh, next month. And all the stories and all the tea that was spilled here on Talk Show T today, uh, you'll get follow up on it. Either it's on the, will be on the next Talk Show T or it will be on the Omega Studio News page. Okay, so the next, oh, the next, uh, the next talk show T, I don't know, but the next Omega Studio News is the day after tomorrow, which is on the 17th, and that's live at 9. Okay, so again, thank you, and I'll see you guys very soon. Holla.